But when I met Gilbert, he was just so kind and loving and he treated me so well. Um, and I knew that um, I deserve this relationship. When I know he's married and I'm, I don't know anybody or anything and it's just not right. I just found out my wife just left her a corporate job for a cashier job. Making $30,000 a year and you think that I should base child support on $30,000 instead of the 70 that you intentionally stop working at? Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's hop right into this. Okay, so no, my mom weren't okay with it. And my dad was kind of like, uh, he was just a bit concerned that um, Gilbert's last name literally translates scary in my language. So, so the thought of me having that last name one day really weirded him out. Hey guys, so what happened here was this Filipina, this Filipina right here is with a black guy. So this other Filipina had an issue. Now, sometimes there is an issues, not, not much though. Um, I'll tell you, when I married my lady, my uh, father-in-law was happy, but this this one lady had to say, she said, so cute. Do your parents approve? Although my boyfriend is also black and I'm Filipina. My parents are so against it. It's hard. I just want to live my life. So, yes, the other woman's parents were going at her for it. But this woman, let me hear what this woman has to say. But the thing about, it is, about me is I actually don't really care what people think about me and my relationship. And that's including my family and my parents. And of course I respect them. But when I met Gilbert, he was just so kind and loving and he treated me so well. Um, and I knew that um, I deserve this relationship. And so that my parents will eventually um, warm up and they did and they warmed up. So in the end of the day, if this person, uh, your boyfriend is making you happy and you have a loving and just a really good relationship, then just keep on loving and your parents will understand when they see you glow, when they see you happy. But yeah, good luck. Yeah, so, so she kept it real. Now, of course I go through that problem. Some people do. You know what it is. And no matter where you are, right? Sometimes, in, in, in certain cultures, especially Asian culture, you'll find that. And that's in every culture. So as a man, if, it, if it's a problem, just don't deal. If it's a problem with you, just don't deal. But let me go on to the next video. Right time. I'm 34. I'll be 35 in almost a month. Um, I have a good job. I have a good career. I'm a kind, loving person. I'm a good friend. I buy shit for myself. I moved to to LA 11 years ago and I have not asked anyone for a single thing in my life. I work for everything that I have and I'm failing at relationships. I really don't know what's wrong with me. Why am I so scary? But yeah succeeded in many areas of my life but relationships are really not happening for me so at this point I'm just thinking that you know what maybe it's not meant for me maybe I'm just meant to be uh, by myself the whole soulmate love of my life my best friend whatever I don't want a man who's not okay with me talking about my feelings or how I feel or asking questions or making plans or thinking about future. I don't want a man who's scared of all that. And I don't think men who are not scared of that exist anymore. So girlies out there who have a man like that just cherish them and you know thank them for all of us single ladies out here struggling with the current dating reality 
yeah, and tell them they're rare. And hopefully your kids will will have their dad's character <laughs> and the next generations of women will be luckier. I don't know what else to say. I mean, maybe I'm just... Well, you know what's happening right now, right, on social media, especially on places like YouTube, TikTok, I think, but I think more work needs to be done on TikTok. Um, or I don't think there's a chance of saving uh, the future, right? I'm going off of what she said. The reason why I say that is because there's so many things out there. Like you have men like me that are talking from this side, but then you have so many more younger women that are just doing what they want to do. They're still going with that old way of living and you don't have enough women that are watching these things, right? You turn around and look at the content, like say if I looked at my channel right now, I see mostly men because they're going through it, right? But what are the women watching? They're watching the opposite of what men are watching. And that's sad. I think more women need to watch what's going on over here on this side. Because men already see what's happening on their side. Right? It, it's sad, man, because women, they listen with itching ears. Something that they want to hear, itching, like. And men tend not to listen that way. Of course, people are going to watch what they want to watch, right? But still, you guys know what I'm saying. Men will tap their ears into something that the woman listens to. Which actually be showing the woman to listen to here over here on this side anyway, right? So men have to tap into that. And what it's doing... It's actually helping men understand what women think the way they do more, right? That's why men watch this content. But I think war women need to see how men are thinking and not look at it like men are just bashing them. Listen, I don't make my content. I did leave because I seen there was no hope. I left and became a bachelor, bro, because I seen there was truly no hope. Because I've seen that for years. I'm, all, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm 42. But I've seen for years there was a problem that wasn't going to change. I don't hate men. I just think that they need to understand that they are not in control. And they are not the leaders. It's not hard to see. Right? You look at society and you think, I went from being young, me being 16 years old, and seeing how many women were for the streets in high school. When I was in high school, there was a problem with HIV in the school. And the young girls were the ones getting it. And why was that happening? Because they were dealing with guys outside of the school. That's why it happened. Yeah, so, because a lot of women were for, were for the streets young. And from then, I'm talking about, this was what? Ooh, 30 years ago? 30 years ago, guys, it was this, not something that's been done right away. It's been happening for years. It's been happening even before then. So as a man, as a boy going to a man, you see these things and then you look at society and go, it's not going to change. And that's why this woman feels that way. She was affected by that bug, right? She was affected by that bug of, I get everything is my way. Everything happens my way. I even believed that before. I was one of those set panda bears that believed everything's supposed to go a woman's way because it was programmed in society. Yes, I believed in that fairy tale, and a lot of men are waking up from that. Is it fair for the women of today to hate the men currently for the mistakes of the men in the past? No. Do you think the women do hate the men of today, and if so, how? Maybe, because they're holding on to grudges of the past. A lot of times we blame other people for our own emotions and things that we wish were different um, rather than taking accountability ourselves. But we need to look forward, move forward, and go from there. And uh, I'm, I'm single. I'm just looking for somebody who likes to have fun and is a fun-loving type gal. 
uh, brunettes are something, and, and so are redheads or blondes. That's, uh, uh, what I really want is someone who will call me and, and will love me because I'm, everyone I know is married and I'm, I don't know anybody or anything and it's just not right when, because I deserve love like anybody else. I don't need to rub me still that dumb stuff for a playboy. See, a lot of people will laugh at that, right? But when I seen that, I didn't find that funny. You have a lot of guys out there that are struggling with that. There's a lot of guys like him that watch this kind of content. And I don't want to say to any guys out there like that, it'd be alright, man, because I looked at a, a, a stat the other day, and it was two days ago, like 43,000 people off themselves in January of 2024. 40 something thousand, 75% of them were men. And I'm sure a lot of them were young men because they feel like this man here. And that right there is it's like a blow, it's like a low blow. It really is. And I say to guys out there, you can get through it, right? That's why I definitely want to, um, when guys say, guys preach that and they say, you know, stay in the gym and focus on yourself, focus on your career. And guys don't say that just because it's something to do, right? So you're not out here worried about these girls. Yeah. Because you see even that guy right there, right? I understand he wants a girl, but he's young. And it's sad that guys have to tell other men, you'll be fine, you'll, find, you'll get that when you're 30, 30 years old and 40 years old, but guys don't want to wait that long, right? When I was younger, I ran the streets. I was with different women, not because I wanted. To, I didn't want to. I was. I didn't want to be a playboy. I can't say that, but I was doing it, and I had to to know how to do it. Some guys don't. A lot of guys are shy, right? I'm a New Yorker. I grew up in New York City, so I'm a talker. I don't mind socializing. I talk, talk, and I can talk talk my ass off, and I do. And it's got me where I need to get in life. Right, but a lot of young boys out there don't have that. They don't, and it's truly hard. So, yeah, guys, that's all I want to say. But uh, let me hop on to the next video. I just found out my wife just left her corporate job for a cashier job. She's like she wants to get out of the payments. What she's doing? Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Is there a reason why you're not paying to support this child? I left my job, and I did do it intentionally. Wait right? a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. How much did you make at your last job? Annually, 70000 Now I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma? Yes, and have you have work. a master's degree? I'm not about to play with you. So, making $30,000 a year, and you think that... I should base child support on $30,000 instead of the 70 that you intentionally stop working at? Well, that is my annual income now. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay each month to this man. Wow. That's a, a decent chunk for what she's making tax. Because you have to consider she's probably paying about 15% of that in tax. She will be forced to get another job. Yeah, sure would. Because she's trying to evade it and... That's something that can be a veteran on the other side. Why should she be able to avoid that, right? But yeah, guys, thank y'all for watching this video. And we definitely see y'all next time, guys. Because you got to know there's more to life than all the nonsense going on nowadays.